Hey everyone, this is going to be just a quick tutorial of the TomoSAM software, which is a plugin for the 3D Slicer software, which is, is what you're seeing here. So TomoSAM was developed by Federico Semeraro at the NASA Ames Research Center uh, as a part of the Porous Microstructure Analysis software. And the basic idea of TomoSAM is to segment tomographic images, typically in our case, microtomography, but as you'll see in this uh, tutorial here, it can be any kind of CT data from the uh, segment anything model of Meta, which is a, a machine learning model to perform image segmentation on any kind of arbitrary um, images. So the installation uh, of TomoSAM is not gonna be covered in this video. Um, that will be gone over in a separate video. This video is just going to go over the basic functionality and a basic example of the TomoSAM software. So uh, in order to uh, start, um, just open the 3D Slicer software as, as I have here. And in this version for this tutorial, I'm using version 5.3.0 of the 3D Slicer software. So um, TomoSAM is basically an extension of the segment editor in the 3D Slicer software. So just as an example, I'm going to start by talking about the segment editor itself and then jump into how TomoSAM augments this. So to start with, I'm going to drag in a TIFF image just from the file browser. And this is a, uh, a TIFF image um, of a CT scan of a human torso. And we're going to talk about how we would use the segment editor to segment kind of key features of this. So here, if we zoom in on, on one particular view, this is just the top down view here. Um, we can see, you know, lungs, heart, ribs, and as we go down uh, the liver, various of the other internal organs here. Um, we're going to start just by uh, looking at, you know, one of these ribs. Um, as an example for, for how the, the segment editor would, would normally work. So to open the segment editor, you click on this drop down menu here and then select segment editor and then add a, uh, a segment. So in order to perform the segmentation, there are a couple different ways. Um, one of the ways is to select seed points and then um, try to have the segment grow from those seeds. Um, for more complicated CT data, this doesn't work particularly well. Uh, you can also try to manually segment your region of interest every certain number of slices, say approximately 20 slices, and then do an interpolation between those slices. Uh, and that's kind of what we'll, what we'll talk about here a little bit. So if we zoom in to say one of these ribs, for example, and I want to do a a segmentation of this rib, I could manually segment it using just the paintbrush here, select the diameter that I want to use, and then uh, select the region just manually using the mouse and the paintbrush. If I needed to, uh, if I needed to say erase anything, I can click this eraser and erase uh, any, any region that I don't want. Um, you would then scroll through the uh, different slices and approximately every 20 slices do another manual segmentation. So we'll do that here. I'm going to scroll down. Now segment this region here. And let's clean that up a little bit. Scroll down again. And let's, uh, let's just go from there. So now I have three different slices where I've manually segmented my region of interest. And from that, I'm going to perform an interpolation between slices. So the way that would work is you click here, Fill between slices, initialize, and you can see here the interpolation that it has done between the slices that I selected. So if I said apply, and if we look at that in 3D, we can see it here. 
um, just here at the top, the little section of the rib that we segmented. So now let's talk about how you would use uh, Tomosam in order to um, augment this. So in order to open Tomosam first here, let's get rid of this segment that we created. In order to open Tomosam, you would click on this drop down menu again, segmentation, Tomosam. It may take a second um, for this to load. Okay, and a kind of core um, step in the Tomosam workflow is going to be to create embeddings of the image that you are trying to segment. And this is a pre-processing step that is required by the SAM model from Meta. And there are a number of different ways to do this. We've included in the software Python scripts that you can use um, to, and you know, put in your uh, file name for your particular file and then generate and save the embeddings. You can also do this on Google Colab. If you click this create button, it will launch a Google Colab window that you can then use. Um, we have the runtime here set by default to uh, GPU. Uh, here, runtime, here, change runtime type. We have it by default set to GPU, which um, it really needs to run on a GPU. It's very, very slow on CPU. Uh, if you run this, it will give you the option to upload a file, and then once the embeddings are created, you can download that file and save it in your local directory, which you can then use um, uh, when you're uploading into Tomosam. So uh, as I mentioned, this can be done with uh, Google Colab. This can be done on your local machine. You can save this Jupyter Notebook to your local machine if you'd rather run it there. Uh, once you have the embeddings created and you're ready to start segmenting, it should look, um, it should look something like this. You should have your TIFF image of interest here. Uh, and then you should have with the exact same file name, just with a different extension, the embeddings. And the embeddings are typically a fairly large document. Just, just fair warning, uh, for a reasonably sized tomography image, it's not unusual for the embeddings to be several gigabytes at least. Once you have the embedding saved like this though, you can drag it directly into Tomosam and when it uh, uploads the TIFF image, it will also then automatically upload the embeddings. So it'll take a minute for this to upload since it's a very large file. Uh, we'll wait for, for it to upload here and then we can continue on with the tutorial. There we go. And now you can see that the embeddings are uh, available here in the right location. So before going through some examples of, of how to segment, let's just talk about the views and some of the GUI options here. Um, by default, when you launch Tomosam, you'll get this kind of two panel view here, uh, which shows a 3D view on the left and one of the 2D views on the right. You can switch between these views by clicking on these 2D view options. You can switch the layout between horizontal and vertical. Uh, you can also, if you want, on the 3D view, go back and forth between hiding and showing the slice. Uh, you can also, if you want to switch back to some of the default views, you can click on this view icon drop down menu here and uh, go back to the kind of default mode and uh, navigate the views as you would on the uh, normal segment editor. So we'll go back to this view here. Uh, for now. And uh, I also want to uh, mention in the 3D viewer here, you can, as I said before, going back and forth between slowing, showing the slice and not, but you also have to update the render as you um, add more to your segmentation. So by default, it does not automatically update the 3D render anytime you add anything new, just because this would kind of slow down the user experience. So whenever you have, uh, you want to see the 3D rendering, you click render 3D and it will update this, this rendering. Um, finally, I want to mention before jumping into functionality that there are keyboard shortcuts for a lot of the functionality. So here, if you hover over this TIFF image, you can see some of these keyboard uh, shortcuts there below. Um, 
for uh, creating points, um, include points and exclude points, which I'll explain in just a minute, uh, accepting masks, generating new segments, all these things um, you, can, you can do with, with the keyboard, which kind of speeds up the process and the user experience in creating these segmentations. So let's talk about how a, a segmentation is actually done. The basic principle here is the same as it was for our example on the default segmentation editor. What you're gonna do is uh, create a manual segmentation every certain number of slices, again, say maybe 20 is kind of a ballpark, and then do an interpolation between those. However, in this case, we can use the segment anything model to create these uh, manual segmentations rather than having to do it with the paintbrush. So for example here, uh, zoomed in on this um, particular rib that we were looking at before, actually let me do all three of these ribs just for demonstration purposes here. We can create a segment. So we already have a segment here created. Um, we can then select what are called include points. And this is how the SAM model works. You click points in the domain that you want to include and if necessary, exclude. Uh, for simple cases, it only requires one point. For more complicated cases, you may have to do multiple points, multiple exclude points. As a rule of thumb, you wanna keep this total number to less than nine because that's what the SAM model was, was trained on. And if you can't get it done with nine points, then I recommend, and I'll show you an example of this, um, I recommend uh, getting as close as you can and then going back to the uh, segment tool in 3D Slicer and doing the final cleanup to get it exactly how you like. So let's look at each of these ribs. Um, we're gonna use segment one. We're gonna create a point here, and you can see that it did a really good job of selecting this region. Now, if you have multiple different regions, for example, these three different ribs that you may want in the same segment, but um, they are not directly connected. Sometimes the SAM model is able to do this well. Uh, sometimes the SAM model struggles. So if you were to here click, for example, um, and select these two points, you can see that it switched um, the region, but it didn't actually do a good job of selecting both of these. So the way that we get around this is you click one of the points and then you accept this mask. And you're saying by accepting the mask, you're saying that uh, you're happy with what Sam thinks is the right boundary here. You can always update this um, if you need to with the, the manual segmentation tool. But once you've accepted this, you can then select the next region, accept it. In this case, I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut A, select this region, we're also happy with this, select the keyboard shortcut A. Now, I'm gonna scroll through a number of slices. Select, A, select, A, select, A, continue. And we'll make this the last slice. There we go. And then I'll show you how the interpolation works. So we have these uh, certain number of, of manually segmented slices here. We're then gonna create an interpolation between them. Go on the interpolation and say create. And if for whatever reason you don't like it, you can say undo. In this case, we can see that the interpolation did a, a decent job. It's a little rough at certain points. We can definitely clean this up if we needed to. You could also uh, do the segmentation um, instead of using the, the GUI here, you can go to the normal segment editor, select our segmentation, do a fill between slices, initialize, and you can see here the segment uh, also worked in this case. If we apply, now let's go back to uh, segmentation TomoSAM and let's do the render in 3D. And now you can see these three ribs that we segmented small portions of here. So I wanna show just one example of when um, 
let's say exclude points would be necessary. Uh, let me switch the view and let's now look at this, uh, this pelvis, for example. So here, this is part of the pelvic bone. And if we wanted to segment this section right here, actually let's segment both of these. Let's create a new segment. So now we have segment two. And we're going to uh, do include points and uh, potentially if we need it, exclude points. So I'm gonna select this region first. And you can see it did a pretty good job selecting that region. So I'm gonna accept that mask. Now, when I click on this, probably it's going to think that this is also included in that region, but we actually don't want this part of the bone here. So if we select here, we can see that it did in fact select this region. If we then uh, either click on exclude points this way, or we could just select E on the keyboard and then select the point there, we can see that it now updates it. And in this case, it updated it very cleanly. And with just two points, we're able to select um, the region that we want. So I'm going to go ahead, go, go ahead and accept that mask with A. So this is kind of an example of just the, the really basic functionality of, um, of Tomo Sam. I, I do want to show actually, let me, let me stay with segment two. Let me show you what you would do in the case that you just for whatever reason couldn't get Tomo Sam to get rid of this section. If you could not get Tomo Sam to do an appropriate segmentation with this section, you can leave it as it is, select A, and then return to your segment editor where you can then select the erase, go in and erase the section that you do not want included in the segmentation. Oh, I had the wrong segment selected, there we go. And now you can see we have the right segment here selected for the pelvic bone. So um, with that basic functionality done, what I'm going to do probably in a sped up way is show a segmentation of um, just say one of the kidneys, for example. So let me create, uh, let me delete these segments. I'm gonna create a new segment and then I'm gonna delete segment two, and I'm gonna delete segment one. And let's, let's do a, uh, a segmentation of the kidney. So you can see these are the lungs, and I should caveat this by saying I'm not a medical professional at all. I'm an engineer. I know very little about anatomy, so if the segmentation here is a little rough, just use it as a demonstration of the tool, um, not necessarily a demonstration of what a proper uh, kidney is supposed to look like. And now this is what the 3D rendered kidney looks like. If we go to uh, segmentation, Tomo Sam render 3D, we can see that. Now that is without any kind of cleanup at all. Um, we can do here in the normal segment editor, we can also do uh, a bit of smoothing. So if for example, we did a Gaussian smoothing with let's say two millimeters we can smooth out some of the roughness that is created from this uh, segmentation process. And then you can see there what the kidney looks like. And with that, uh, we will end this tutorial. Uh, please let us know if you have any issues, um, any concerns, any uh, suggestions or bug fixes, please reach out to us and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials in the future.